Hey guys, this is H Town Kick 713 coming with a new review of the Nike Zoom CJ Trainer 2 men's training shoe from Calvin Johnson Megatron, number 81 from the Detroit Lions. His second release of the training shoe for the 2014 season. If we look here, this is the official uh, colorway of the shoe. They're going with that turf orange on the top side, the white and poison green. So Calvin Johnson for this year, for this first model colorway, was based off the theme Spicy Tuna. So I guess Calvin Johnson apparently likes uh, sushi, and this is where this theme kind of came from. So it actually kind of makes me kind of hungry wearing this shoe. So we'll see how this model does. Uh, kind of interesting concept uh, to base off of food. But nowadays, I guess everything has a theme. Let's get into some of the details of the CJ Trainer 2 shoe. To start off, they're going with a mesh upper. As we see here, let's get an up close look at that. Okay. Zoom in on that. Also, we're kind of going also with a kind of a synthetic leather. So we kind of move to the forefront part of the shoe. So it's very, very stable and durable uh, material. Also, they're going with a pylon uh, midsole. And also, probably the most notable feature that continues from the first model, they have the strap on the front with his new logo, the CJ, Calvin Johnson. Interesting enough, um, most fans don't see the famous Megatron logo on this model. It'd be interesting if they keep that or they decide to bring it back. Also on the uh, side of the shoe here, and they just do it on one side, they, they are going with uh, the flower wire technology on the, the mid strap of the shoe. And also, uh, if we look at the uh, traction, they, have, they do have some very aggressive traction on this shoe. Uh, for the shoe, kind of look up close here. Let's take a look at that. Zoom out. Kind of look at the also the depth of the shoe. Let's look at the details of that. One thing I do like, um, they are going with the Nike Zoom technology. And actually, interesting if you look at the bottom of the shoe, you see kind of the the darker areas here on the front and the back of the shoe. And if you actually look closely, they do have the words Zoom on it. So that's where they're um, using the Zoom technology on this uh, shoe. One thing I did notice on the, sh on the side shoe, the, um, the back heel, bottom portion, they kind of have a very strong uh, hard plastic here for durability. Okay, if we look, I uh, wanted to bring out here also the KD6 Elite model from last year. Take a bird's eye view of that. But if you look at the heel, they kind of use the same technology, kind of the hard plastic on the back heel and the zoom. So. That's where that seems to see some similarities. So if we kind of zoom on here on the back side of the uh, the heel, you notice they do put the, looks to me like a new logo, the CJ. Interesting why they went with that on the rear. And also we have the, the pull-up strap. There, you see it on the side as well, pull-up strap. And they also, uh, interesting here, um, they kind of have an, an enclosure, like a shroud enclosure on the inside of the training shoe. R reminiscent of a shoe I have, uh, the Jordan Dominant Pro training shoe. So they keep that uh, in there for secure fit. I'm going to take a close zoom in on the front part of the shoe. You see the contrasting uh, materials, kind of glued up here with the synthetic leather. Look, so get clear it on that. We have the kind of sparkling on the, uh, the Nike logo. Kind of zoom in here, you see kind of the details of the shoelace. Uh, I do like the shoelaces on this one, they're kind of secure and snug. Uh, won't have any slippage with any wax type material. You go up on the tongue, see it kind of has a kind of a mesh design to it with his, uh, his autograph there. And also the uh, on the side here, it's a pull-up, so you can pull up that tongue. It's a nice feature there as well. Kind of the side of the shoe, with the Nike logo here on the side, and that mesh material on the tongue. 
Let's take a look at the uh, inside sole of the shoe. And if we take a close up look there, see if we can get some clarity on the shot. So it has the autograph and it says engineer to the direct specifications of Calvin Johnson. It's kind of glued in there, so the sole actually is a little hard to remove if you wanted to remove it. That's why I kind of kept it in there for you. And we take a look at the strapped, uh, unstrapped. And it has, you can see a lot of Velcro there to give it a secure lockdown. With the strap securely in place. And it kind of wraps up my quick review of the Nike Zoom CJ Trainer 2, second release for the Calvin Johnson Trainer shoe. Overall, it's a pretty comfortable shoe. It has a nice secure fit. Um, I like the materials on the, sh on the shoe. It provides great uh, st durability and traction. I think if you're kind of training and if you're a football player, it does, nice, it does kind of remind you of the cleats but without the actual cleats on there. But uh, it's a good training. If I guess if you're trying to train maybe on AstroTurf or even on the grass, uh, or in the weight rooms, it provides some good uh, durability and stability. So, nice pickup here. Overall, I'm interesting what happens with the shoe. Um, this particular model, I don't think it sold too well because it kind of released, I believe, in May. And we're looking at July now, and the price dropped pretty dramatically. I think it went from retail price of $140 uh, all the way down to $84.99. And I was actually able to use it under promo code with it, dropped the price down to around $72. So that was kind of the price for this pickup that just released. So probably that's probably do is more of the colorway on the shoes. Even though you see some of the Calvin Johnsons as time goes by from the first release, they do kind of get discounted uh, over time. But uh, let me know you think. Um, it'll be interesting what color, other colorways will come up for this year, see if it does any better. Thank you for your time, guys. Subscribe, like, have a good day.